A massive welcome to Jeffrey, who yesterday became a channel member. Thank you very much for your support. Only a handful of days ago, Airbus secured a mammoth deal coming out of China, a deal that consisted of close to 300 total aircraft and meant, of course, it was one of the largest in aviation history and was recently covered here on the channel in case you missed it. Being worth close to USD 40 billion at this price value, one could argue that one of the main takeaways from the deal was how this was secured by European aircraft manufacturer Airbus over that of Boeing. However, given how competitive the current climate is and how the need for any and every order is essential, it's left, according to Boeing, a bit of a sour taste in their mouths. Why is this exactly, you may be asking? Well, according to a spokesperson for Boeing who directly communicated with Bloomberg, they said, it was disappointing that geopolitical differences continued to constrain the US aircraft exports. Interestingly enough, however, comments have also emerged that the Boeing 737 MAX's recent history has meant that for airlines, at least within China, it's not necessarily the most favourable option moving forward, and since that very tragedy, Airbus has been leaps and bounds ahead of American aircraft manufacturer, which of course can be validated following not just customer reaction, but also recent figures. They've definitely been front and centre, and been the most favourable candidate for many airlines looking to purchase their next batch of aircraft. What's important to note is this doesn't mean that this is how it's always going to be from now forward, in terms of, say, performance. I often compare aircraft manufacturers to the very basic necessity of a supermarket. They spend their time in the sun, certain supermarket chains, that is, and then often the other one will take over as the most preferred five years down the line. That is very much how the aviation industry can be. Don't totally write Boeing off just yet. Boeing has a long road to recovery, but they're equipped with the resources to make that very recovery. It's however about going about the process correctly. Beijing notes that the American aircraft manufacturer though should and also is allowed to feel jealous after the mammoth contract was secured by at the end of the day when push comes to shove their primary source of competition being Airbus. While earlier I did mention the 737 MAX's recent history, which I don't need to go into too much detail about, if you're not too familiar with what happened to the 737 MAX, there's many, many endless videos here on the channel. Alternatively, you can just quickly search 737 MAX into Google and check out the Wikipedia page. That will give you everything you need to know. While we can certainly look at that as being partly to blame, supply chain difficulties have been ongoing for years. I won't get too extensively into this specific sector, however you can probably imagine the impact this does have. Boeing wants to take it a step forward in the right direction by having some positive discussions in the future that can put some of the issues to rest and see progress finally made. However, this is a very much easier said than done, as I'm sure you can imagine, as this problem stretches even further than just Boeing as an aircraft manufacturer. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you believe Boeing are in the right to feel disappointed over this? Do you believe it's almost partly not their fault? Well, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you to Stefan, Neil, Jam, and Don. A big thank you to you guys for being cabin crew members here on the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another video here on the channel.